Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying a whole bunch of new makeup that I am super excited to try and to show you. Some of this I bought myself, some of it was sent to me in PR recently, and I cannot wait to dig in, show you everything, and see what I like versus what I don't like. There are a few products in here I'm a little skeptical about, so we shall see. If you are excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've already moisturized my skin. I have my brows on. So the first product we're going to try is foundation. And this is a new foundation that I purchased at Ulta a couple days ago, the About Face Foundation. This I got in the shade LM2 Neutral, which I think maybe might be a little dark for me. We will see. This foundation has an amazing shade range. It's just hard to match myself in store. I was going to go for LM1, which was the light medium one neutral shade, but it seemed a little bit too light. And so I went one step up and now I feel like I might have gone a little bit too dark. The reason I've been so excited to try this foundation is because when I went to New Orleans and I met a ton of girls, content creators up there, um, they did videos where everyone showed their favorite foundation and this foundation was a lot of the girls top pick Some of those girls also love the Pat McGrath foundation, which you guys know is my favorite So my curiosity was definitely picked besides that it's only $22. It's very affordable. I got it at Ulta I'm going to of course link everything I talk about in today's video down below Here is what the component looks like and then once you open it it has a doe foot applicator. Here we go. Doe foot applicator. And I have magic cream on as my moisturizer slash primer. And I'm just going to apply this one, I guess, as I normally would. <laughs> and I'm going to spread it out with my BK Beauty 101 brush. Okay, I actually like that color. I thought it was going to be too dark. But as I blend it out, I feel like it mixes in with my skin tone really nicely. Could I have gone a little lighter? Possibly, but this is kind of the color I like to be, especially for summer. And I think it's mixing in nicely, actually. So LM2 was actually the right shade for me. All right, I spread what little I applied all the way back here and all the way to my jawline. I'm going to just build it up a bit on my cheek since I feel like I took off some of the product from there. And I'm just going to tap it so that it stays in place this time. Honestly, that looks beautiful. I was expecting it to look beautiful because again, I just heard and saw a lot of people raving about it. And these girls also like the Pat McGrath foundation a lot. So, I mean, I had very high expectations which are being met right now <laughs> for sure. This could be a really fantastic affordable alternative. Um, so I'm going to Go on this side. I thought I was going to try a sponge over here, but the brush is working so nicely. I don't feel like getting up and wetting a sponge, honestly. That's what's happening. <laughs> so with my brush, I'm just going to once again blend everything. This one seems to have a natural to glowy finish and a beautiful medium coverage. Check it out up close. It honestly looks amazing. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a wear test with it. It wasn't the plan at the beginning, but it just looks like such a fantastic foundation. I want to see how it wears throughout the day. It's 1.14 in the afternoon right now. It's not super early, unfortunately, uh, but I will try and wear it for at least eight hours and see how it wears for an extended period of time. Let me just blend it down. I don't have any new corrector or concealer to try, so I'm just going to do the e.l.f. Peach Corrector first. Blend that in with my refer brush. Just tapping it in place. And then I'm going to use the Say Beauty Concealer in number five. And with it, brighten up the under eyes a bit. Once again, I'm going to pat in that concealer with the brush. And with whatever's left, I am going to go onto my eyelids. Here are the foundation and concealer both applied. And I am going to go with another product I purchased recently next that I'm very curious about. And that is the new Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Serum. 
I went for the shade light medium because I was looking at them in the store and the lighter shades seemed too light for me. So hopefully light medium is going to be a good match. And I really like the packaging of this one in the sense that you can pump it out if you want to. Or you also have the option of the doe foot applicator to kind of draw on where you want it. I think I'm going to use the doe foot applicator today actually. So I'm just going to draw it up here on my forehead first. This isn't the most cool toned shade. It actually looks quite warm on me. So we'll see, I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm going to use my Rare Beauty brush to blend it in place. My main concern with this one when I saw it in stores the other day was that it looks very lightweight, kind of very sheer. But now that I'm putting it on my forehead, you actually definitely see quite a difference with it. So it's definitely not too sheer. <laughs> like I thought I was going to put it on and that it would kind of disappear, but that is not happening. So that's definitely a green flag right there. And also, even though that color looked pretty warm at first, I feel like it blended in beautifully. I don't feel like it's too yellow on me. That was definitely concern number two. <laughs> So, so far so good. Let's keep going. Again, I'm going to just continue using the doe foot applicator and I'm going to tap it right here and over here. And then with my brush, I'm going to stipple it in and blend it upwards so that it gives me a bit of a sculpting effect. And I definitely want to make it meet with my forehead bronzer on the temples. It looks beautiful. I'm so I'm I am so sorry, Mario, that I doubted you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I honestly didn't have high expectations for this one. Do I still think I might like the Say Beauty one better? The one that I tried a couple of videos ago? Possibly just because it's a bit more cool toned. Um, but I don't know, I would have to try them side by side to really determine that. Because this one from Makeup by Mario definitely looks a lot better than I expected it to look. Let's do the jawline. And I'm going to do a little bit around the tip of my nose and blend it in with the brush just so that my nose doesn't look pale compared to the rest of my face. So finally, here is the bronzer fully applied. Again, I like it much better than I ever thought I would. It blended out beautifully. The pigmentation is natural, but it's definitely there. It was very easy to distribute over the foundation and the color light medium on me doesn't look too warm which like I said was definitely a concern of mine at first so far so good I'm liking things one more thing about this pump because I think it's definitely genius it was made with regular consumers and makeup artists in mind because you know makeup artists would only use the pump so that they don't contaminate the product and regular makeup users, um, we would probably find it more comfortable to use the doe foot applicator so that we get a more precise application, you know? So it's genius, I love it. The next new thing I wanna try, I've been wanting to try for quite a while and I just didn't know how to fit it into a video up until now because there have been so many blushes that have come out. But LYS Beauty has a new blush that is luminous. This is their PR package, which I think is beautiful, by the way. Let me show you the blushes on there. So I'm going to swatch all of them for you, and we are going to try one of the new LYS Beauty blushes today. These are the LYS Higher Standard Cream Glow Blush Sticks. Here's what the packaging looks like. Once you open it, take a look at the beautiful kind of opalescent outside for the blush stick. It's beautiful. And then here's what they look like once you open them. This one is the shade Focus. Let's go ahead and swatch it here. Next, I have Unfazed. They are extremely, extremely soft. Outgoing is this beautiful fuchsia pink. This one here has a bit more peach slash coral in it. This one's called Bubbly. Take a look right there. This stunning warm one right here is called Curvy. Let's go for the swatch. I'm trying to swatch them super carefully because they are so soft, I don't wanna ruin them. This warm, rusty one here is called Courageous. And that's the swatch of that one. Last but not least, this one is called Elite. And here's the swatch. 
So here are the swatches of these LYS Beauty Blushes. I'm going to blend them out a bit so we can see what they look like blended out on my light complexion. Here are all seven shades blended out and sheared out a little bit. I think I'm going to go with the first one I swatched today because I love how beautiful and natural it looks. I like that the glow is not necessarily enhancing texture, at least not on the back of my hand. We'll see once we get to the face. When I mentioned at the beginning of the video I was skeptical about some of these, this was one of the products I was talking about because of the glow and the texture, but it being a cream and now that I swatched them, I feel like I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the first color I swatched was the shade Focused, so I'm going to go for Focused and I guess put it on my face straight up. <laughs> and then with my Rare Beauty Blush brush, make sure to really blend it in so that it mixes in nicely with the bronzer. That was a little scary, but it looks really nice. <laughs> Focus, even though it looks scary at first, is definitely going to work on light complexions and it blends like an absolute dream. I like the way things are looking so far. I do have one more product from LYS Beauty to try. They sent me another pyramid because they have another new release. I did just get this yesterday, so this has to be very new and it is um, cream highlighters. So they had cream highlighters in like compacts but i think their cream stick bronzers became so popular they started making everything in a cream stick i have to say i definitely prefer the stick version of cream products rather than the compact version because you just save a step you just put it straight on the face and then blend it in with a brush rather than having to pick it up from the pan first and whatnot so they have three highlighter shades that come in a cream stick now. Here's what the packaging of the highlighters looks like. They did it in their beautiful rose gold chrome packaging. Here is the shade Genuine. Let me go ahead and swatch it. I'm swatching it very carefully because the blushes were so pigmented. So that is Genuine right there. I like that it's kind of see-through. This gold one here is called Brave. And let's go ahead and swatch it right there. Again, I'm liking that these are kind of like sheer but shiny highlighters because I feel like that's going to be really good if you, like me, have textured skin. And then this bronzy one is called Fearless. Let's go ahead and swatch it right there. This one is not as sheer as the other two. Definitely dark complexion friendly right here. I think today I'm going to go with the shade Brave and I'm going to just put it right up here and I'm going to tap it in with my finger just like that. Same thing over on this side. Alright, the highlighters I'm not very impressed by. I think they swashed beautifully. Maybe once I put powder all over my face I'll see the difference better. But right now, I don't know, I thought that they would show up a little more without enhancing texture. It definitely is not enhancing texture, but it's also not super blingy. It's more on the natural side. I guess it just isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Their highlighters in the compact are very, very blingy. Now that I think about it though, I think those are actually powder highlighters, not cream highlighters. So I lied earlier. Anyways, let's go ahead and powder my face, especially right in the center, and then see the highlighter in comparison to a more blurred matte complexion. I don't have a new powder to try, so we are going with my Givenchy one. And I'm just going to tap it right in the center of the face. Now that I powdered, I'm going to go back with the highlighter here. And I can definitely see more of a contrast because the blush was so glowy as well that before it was like, I don't know, I didn't think it added much. Um, so it's still natural looking, but it is a cream highlighter and it doesn't enhance texture, so it's not bad. Definitely not bad. <laughs> For eyeshadow, I don't have one, but three different palettes to choose from. These are new from Nomad Cosmetics. It is the Nomad Air Travel Palette Collection. They have three new different color stories. I do have an affiliate code with Nomad. You can save 10% off of your Nomad Cosmetics purchase with my code PATTY10. If you are interested in any of these, I will show you all three of them. I will swatch all three of them. 
but I'm only going to be using one. So I'll be picking one today and using it. I have a pretty good idea of which one I want to use, but I haven't swatched them yet, so maybe I'll change my mind. Okay, so here's one of the first travel palettes, and these are inspired by specific airports, I think, rather than specific places. So this one is Nomad Air Canadian Rockies YXC. And once you open it, take a look right here at the color story. It is a beautiful greenish teal color story. We have some sage, we have some teal, four mattes and two shimmers. Let's go ahead and swatch it. The top row is all matte. Look at how good that sage shade is. I'm loving it. That one is called Brave the Bears. And take a look at the swatch right here. Then we have Moose Crossing, which is a more minty type green right there. The forest green shade is called Take a Hike. And then the first shade from row number two is called Mountain Calling, which is our first shimmer of this palette. The last two shades are one matte and one shimmer. This beautiful teal-ish shade here is called Find Your Peak. It's so beautiful and pigmented, wow. And then the last shade is the other shimmer, which is a blue shimmer called River Rafting. So take a look right here, the swatches off this first Nomad Cosmetics Travel Palette. Absolutely beautiful if you ask me. This is definitely the most colorful one from this collection. So hold right there because we have neutrals and cool tones coming. And as per usual, I'm leaving the one I think is going to be my favorite for last. <laughs> This one is incredibly beautiful and also incredibly warm. This is the Abu Dhabi Said AUH palette. So just like with the last one, we have four mattes, two shimmers. I am dying to swatch this color right here. So let's go for the swatches. Here are the first four shades. Here's that beautiful metallic. The first color is called Racing Dunes or Rising Dunes. That is very creamy. The shimmer shade is Golden Hour, which is an incredibly beautiful rose gold. Then we have Endless Sands, which also wow creaminess. And then the first shade of the second row, Soaks and Bazaars, I think it's how you say that. Something like that. It's pretty much very similar to the color of my skin. It's creamy and pigmented, but you're not seeing it that much because it, it's blending in with my skin tone right there. Here I have the last two shades, which are the warmest ones in this palette. So we have Desert Oasis right here, and then we have Spice Market. Oh my god, these browns are so creamy. Take a look at how beautiful this palette is. If you are a fan of warm tones, this is definitely the one for you. Wow. We have one more palette to go. This is the one that I've been most excited about, the Oslo Gardemon OSL palette. It is a beautiful, beautiful, cool-toned palette. Once again, four mattes, two shimmers. Let's go ahead and go for the swatches. Here are the first four shades of this one. The first color is called Minimal, which is this beautiful light gray shade. Very cool-toned. Then we have the shimmer, which is called Nordic Cool. It's a beautiful silver. Natural is the next shade, and it looks wonderful it's a beautiful cool tone brown and the first shade in the second row is called practical which is even more cool toned <laughs> this one is pretty much a gray shade rather than a brown actually here are the last two shades the shimmer is called democratic design and then oh wow it's actually like a little pinkish i like it and then the last matte which is the darkest one and wow so creamy it's called functional and that one is going to give you the smoky looks, I think, based on all of the swatches and my mood for the day, that this is definitely going to be the palette I'm going to be using. I kind of thought so from the beginning, but I thought also that the swatches might make me change my mind. They didn't. I definitely am dying to play with this one, especially the more neutral shades in this one are so beautiful, like this one and that one. And this smoky shade is beautiful as well. To apply my eyeshadows, I'm going to be using my refer brushes. This one is the number 15. And the first color I'm going to grab is the color Minimal, which is the lightest matte shade in this palette. And I'm going to use it as my transition shade. Just back and forth all throughout my crease with this refer number 15 brush. 
Now that that light gray shade is blended, with the same brush, I'm going to grab the shade Natural All right here. These are very pigmented, so I think I have to be careful with it. I'm going to start by tapping it on the outer third of my eyelid. And then from there, I'm going to blend it into my crease. And I'm doing little circles in order to nicely and easily blend it into the light color. Always starting from the outer corner and slowly bringing it in. That looks so beautiful and smoky but very natural at the same time. I love it. All right, so take a look at what things are looking like. So far, so good. So for shimmer, I wanna grab this one right here at the bottom called Democratic Design. And I'm going to stamp it right in the center of the eyelid. That is a beautiful, beautiful shimmer shade for sure. Just to try the other one, I'm going to also grab the one on top and add it on the outer part back here because I think it's a bit darker of a shade. I'll catch up on this eye in a second, but with a smaller blending brush, I'm going to grab the shade Functional first and I want to add it to the outermost corner of the eye and smoke it in ever so slightly, just rubbing it back and forth with my brush with a very light pressure. Back to Democratic Design here with a ref for number two. And I'm taking it all the way to the inner corner and defining my eyelid with it. Okay, so with a small blending brush, this is a ref for number 13 and the color Functional. I'm going to blend things down here so we can match the smokiness we have at the top right on the bottom lashes. And then with that same brush, I'm going to grab Natural and smoke it out and blend it all the way to the tear duct area. So before I put on any mascara or lashes, here is the final look with this stunning Nomad Travel Palette. I'm going to do the Laura Mercier Espresso Eyeliner right in the waterline. And I'll go off camera to do some mascara, put on some lashes. I'll be back to show you the final results. Here are the lashes I want to try. These are new at Ulta Rebel Lashes from Kiss. Honestly, this style looks stunning, so I'm dying to try them. I'll be right back. I'm back with the Rockstar Lashes on mascara. I also put on a lip liner. Let me go step by step. The Rockstar Lashes I mentioned, I like the way they look because they look fantastic. I thought they would look really good, but the lash band is a lot thicker than Ardell, or is this Kiss? Was it Kiss or Ardell? Whichever brand it is. The lash band is much thicker than it usually is and it was kind of hard to manipulate. It took me a while to put the lashes on so I'm not loving that thicker lash band but I do love the way they look at the end. The lip liner is Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury. And the only thing I have left to show you is this right here from Boxum which is also new. These are the Boxum Full On Plumping lip balms. They have plumping lip balms now. Here's what the packaging of them looks like and I got the nude shade to show you just because I thought this would go really well with the eyeshadow look I'm wearing today. This shade is called Peach Smoothie and I'm pairing it with the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. This right here is the final look. I feel like I look very 90s today. <laughs> Um, and I pretty much told you my thoughts on everything as I went throughout the video. Nothing has changed. The only thing left to do is to wear this beautiful foundation for an extended period of time and show you what it looks like at the end of the night. So far, the foundation was a 10 out of 10. This makeup by Mario Bronzer, 9.5 out of 10 is going to be my rating. And this is the makeup look for today. So I'll show you what the foundation looks like in natural lighting. And then I'll come back at the end of the night to see how everything wore. I'm outside. I totally forgot I had to show you guys what the foundation looks like in natural lighting. I actually went and got a pedicure since I filmed, which was really nice. So it's actually been two to three hours since you last saw me. And this is what the About Face foundation is looking like in natural lighting and the Mario bronzer and the LYS blushes and all of that. Everything is looking really, really nice and very natural if I do say so myself. I'm loving the makeup today. 10.38 right now, which means we've made it past nine hours of wear. I have been dying to shower and take this makeup off, but I stuck to this wear test. I was actually editing the video up until now, so it's fine. The video is almost fully edited and I can come back and tell you how I'm feeling about this entire makeup look, I think. 
especially looking back at the footage, that I was very harsh on the LYS highlighter for absolutely no reason, and that it actually looks amazing. Was it what I was expecting? No. But I think it's better than what I was expecting, because first of all, it's been nine hours, look at it. <laughs> it's still shining brightly on my cheek, and as I said when I was applying it, it does not enhance my texture, which is fantastic, and it looks natural, but I do look highlighted. The blush, definitely still there, very, very beautiful, a bit glowier than I like my blushes to be generally, but once I set it with translucent powder, it looks good. The Makeup by Maria bronzer, I love. <laughs> I wish it wasn't as warm as it was, but even it being as warm as it is, it still looks very natural and it still looks very flattering on my complexion. Very impressed by that one because I was not expecting to even like it and I think it's fantastic. Now, the number one product I recommend in this video has got to be the About Face Foundation because it looks fantastic. It's worn beautifully all throughout the day. I'm impressed with the coverage, the texture, the fact that it's only $22, I highly recommend it. All of these products, of course, including the foundation, are going to be linked in the video and the description box. Whenever you shop for my links, it helps out my channel if you guys are interested in any of these. What else did I try today? The eyeshadow, as you can see, it's worn beautifully for nine hours, no creases, no nothing. I didn't even use um, a primer and it's still looking fantastic. So these Nomad eyeshadow palettes have excellent quality. Um, the Boxum lip balm was okay, like nothing out of the ordinary. It's a lip balm and it wasn't too plumping. So if you're worried about it hurting your lips, it doesn't. I think that's it except for the lashes, which I already told you I did not love the lash band, but they did wear beautifully all throughout the day as well. So here's the makeup nine hours in. Excuse the hair, you guys. Here's the makeup nine plus hours in. I think I had a really good makeup day today and I think a lot of these products are excellent 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 especially these right here obsessed i love okay anyways i love you all so much if you like today's video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and i hope to see you back in the next video <laughs> bye